There are a whole lot of restrictions placed on the lives of Ontarians today, and in some cases it only gets worse. Jurisdictions that went into red zone or orange zone, they've been brought back further into red zone or gray zone lockdown. Things almost seem to be regressing in parts of this province. And for Ontarians to adequately gauge whether or not this is necessary and whether or not some of those calls to go into a further province-wide lockdown are in fact warranted, well, they need to have the big picture, a picture far bigger than just what's going on in Ontario, but take a look at what's going on all across Canada and all across North America. And if they do, they will see that Ontario is pretty much the most restricted jurisdiction in North America, and the GTA in particular is one of the most locked down regions definitely in North America and, by some metrics, in the entire world. Take a look at this graph here, published by USA Today. It's a chart that they update every morning, and it tells you where various US states are when it comes to either easing restrictions or tightening them. And oh, look at that. Pretty much every state is easing restrictions or holding firm having already eased restrictions. There's just one little red mark there, West Virginia, a Republican state, and I tried to figure out what exact restrictions they had tightened because it suggests they've tightened restrictions. I can't figure it out. I couldn't find the news story, so maybe just one small tightening of restrictions there, but, but pretty much no American state going back into lockdown in any way. And there may be some people who would like to say, as they did months ago, oh, well, you know, that's just Republican Florida and Republican Texas, and they'd like to write all that off. That doesn't cut it anymore. You've got Joe Biden supporting various forms of reopening. You've got more left-wing politicians, uh, Democratic governors of various states. You've got left-leaning Democratic mayors like Lori Lightfoot in Chicago who are calling for a much more evolved and balanced approach from what we're seeing in Ontario right now. A lot of officials saying, look, we're at the point now where we are a year into this. We've collected data about how coronavirus is spreading, where it's spreading, who is most at risk, and we use that data to make targeted choices about things and to deal with flare-ups as they arise. This idea of a blunt lockdown, statewide lockdown, province-wide lockdown, it's not on anymore. But then you say, then why am I hearing officials in Ontario and some, some medical experts talking in the media urging this? Well, why are we hearing this? That's on them. Why are some Ontario officials so offside from the actual public health discussion going on in North America? The question is not so much, does Ontario need to go back down into lockdown? The question is, why are these experts actually not? Uh, following what the rest of the expert community is saying all across North America. These American states and American cities that are reopening, these are not just political decisions, they have medical officials as well, and they have credentials from prominent universities and institutions just similar to our own officials. They have comparable resumes out there. So clearly there's something different going on in Ontario right now, and I think part of it is just that Ontarians are just not aware of how locked down their province is and how things are so different for them. I'll give you just one example. In Ontario, people are used to the fact that if there is one child in class who tests positive for coronavirus, the entire class is sent home. They have to self-isolate for 14 days. Everyone has to get tested, even though time and again, we've seen in almost all of those instances, the number of confirmed positive cases that comes back afterwards is zero. Why do we keep doing that? Well, that's a good question because in British Columbia, if there's a child who is found to have coronavirus, they don't send the whole class home. Basically, they do an investigation and say, okay, does, does the kid have one you know, best friend who he or she is always sort of palling around with, okay, maybe that child should be sent to get tested and so forth, but otherwise, they have a much more mature and evolved response than Ontario does. Let's face it, Ontario has a backwards response, a regressive response that is the outlier and is offside from what all the other experts are doing. Those are the things Ontarians need to know and those are the questions that they need to ask. Why is Ontario like this? And maybe they need to start talking about how, well, maybe that shouldn't be the way anymore.